So how much of our world is a conspiracy theory? Let's see if we can just run through a handful of them. Shoes. Yes, shoes. Grounding. You're an electrical being and grounding to the earth releases excess buildup of static electricity, allowing you to feel less stress. Wearing shoes stops that conductivity, leaving that energy inside, more anxiety, more stress. Food and health. Not only make money selling garbage food to the people, but also make money from the effects of that garbage food. Our healthcare system. Education. You ever wonder why you're not taught finance, taxes, debt, any of these things, emotional intelligence and control, what are emotions, how to optimize oneself, control emotions, detach from emotions, and see emotions for what they are. Why are we not taught these useful things in education, but just taught facts and figures? Technological innovation. We had cars that ran off of water years ago. Nikola Tesla. What happens? JP Morgan is famously quoted by saying, if I can't put a meter on it, I don't want it. So he shut him down and went with the other electrical. Electricity. Then consider the atomic nature of things. If everything's energy atomically, then we should just be able to tap into it atmospherically. And then water, hydrogen, oxygen, both fuel sources. Why can't we just use water as fuel? The Federal Reserve and the monetary system. The U.S. as a corporation and its citizenry as assets. For collateral, which allows for the printing of money, right? Taking loans from the Federal Reserve. Printing money is just a loan, and you are the collateral. Why is there a bond number on your birth certificate? And what is going on in Antarctica? What happened? All the countries agreed that no one shall go there. Why? Toiletries. Why is it that you have to use shampoo to remove oil from your hair just to use a conditioner to put that said oil back in your hair? What are you absorbing through your skin with your toiletries? What's in those things? The observer effect, that your consciousness actually creates reality. It has an effect. And collectively, that effect is magnified. Hence, media, movies, TV shows, influencing your view of reality to have a collective similarity to create a specific reality. I think that's enough.